Here to induct tonight's Canadian Hall of Fame recipients, a Canadian Hall of Famer himself, Tom Cochran. You guys are crazy. Anne Murray rocks, doesn't she? Man, I'll tell you. Calgary rocks. It's great to be here, you guys. It's about time this roadshow came to Calgary, right? Yeah! You know, I'm very honored to be here tonight in Calgary to induct the newest members into the Canadian Music Hall of Fame Triumph. As artists, yeah. As artists, Triumph showed the world time and again how to give bigger than life live performances and the value of really connecting with their fans. And the most important thing, Triumph showed, showed us how to put uh, as many epic guitar solos into one performance as possible. Especially if you had a guitar player as good as Rick Emmett. Nearly 30 years after playing their first arena in a blaze of glory, sound, thunder and lights and the release of 15 albums, one thing is for certain. Triumph's powerful, positive and uplifting brand of arena, rock and legacy lives on. This hard rock power trio inspired a generation of rock and rollers, not just in Canada, but all over the world, with their willingness to lay it on the line. Let's take a look. When you and Mike first started Triumph out, did you ever believe it would become this big? Yes. We had a lot of confidence in what we were doing. We believed in it, we believed in each other. Well, we, we didn't believe it until we got Rick. Rick Emmett, Mike Levine, Gil Moore. Three young musicians from Mississauga were destined to become the ultimate rock and roll machine of the 70s and 80s, Triumph. If you just want to hear a band, stay home and listen to your stereo. Live rock and roll should be big and great and fantastic. Overkill has always been one of my philosophies. The trio's live show exploded onto North American stages, defining arena rock for an era. Moore engineered a pyro and laser light show that was unrivaled in its time, and the band traveled with their own light and sound rig, allowing them to blast into venues that couldn't otherwise support a show of that magnitude. Triumph is the best. If we played a show and there wasn't a real strong response from the audience, we didn't consider they were being polite. We considered they were being bored. With a growing rep for showing fans a rocking good time, momentum was starting to build. But hard work isn't everything in the rock and roll game. I think we got lucky. Somebody was supposed to be doing a show at the Municipal Auditorium in San Antonio, and they got sick, and they couldn't do it. And it was like this last minute call, can you come down and headline? Got an appointment went to San Antonio, and uh, just rocked the place. The fans went nuts. It was like crazy. And then we knew we had something special. They broke in Texas, and then they blew up. What followed was a string of gold and platinum albums, and the fulfillment of a dream to play to masses of people when they were included in 1983's Us Festival on what was billed as Heavy Metal Sunday. Triumph is probably the most outside band of that genre. In that whole heavy metal genre, we were the good guys. We were the, the band in white. Never surrender, fight the good fight, hold on to your dreams, you know. And I'm proud of that. I think that's a great legacy that the band has. In 1988, after being together for 13 years, they left the business at the top of their game with a sold-out final tour. And their rock and roll machine still plays on. We were the three musketeers when we started this band. You know, the things we shared that you couldn't share with anybody else in your life. Just this little club here, there's only three memberships and we were the three members. It's not really about sex and drugs and rock and roll. It really does have to be about music and it has to be about writing good music and getting up on stage every night and playing in it. We played for hundreds of thousands of people and sold a whole ton of records too, so we must have been doing something right. Ladies and gentlemen, it's my great pleasure to welcome the newest members to the Canadian Music Hall of Fame and my friends, Rick Emmett, Mike Levine, and one of my best friends, Gil the Impaler Moore of Triumph. Yeah, let's hear it for Triumph.
knows how to work the crowd, eh? Thanks, Tom, for your beautiful words. I want to thank Karis for this incredible honor. And I want to say thanks to my family for putting up with me, especially my amazing wife, Jeanette. And uh, I also want to pay tribute to the memory of my brother, Russ, who played a big role in all of this. I need to thank friends uh, who stood by me, especially Rick Wharton and uh, Neil Dixon and Ross Monroe. Most of all, I want to thank my partners here and our fans who believed in the independent spirit of our music making and all that crazy stuff that beats at the heart of rock and roll. Cheers. The Universal Music Team, uh, Randy Lennox, Ross Reynolds, John Alexander, thanks for being there all the way through for us, watching our back every second. Triumph's great agent, Vinnie Cinquemani, and Michael Cole, Donald Tarleton, and Riley O'Connor, the promoters that brought us to the big stage. Thank you, guys. This guy right here, Tom Cochran. Tom, thanks for your wonderful words tonight, and on a personal level, your enduring friendship keeps me real every day. You're an inspiration to me, Tom. Thank you. My beautiful wife, Sunny. My daughters, Lauren and Holly. My little boy, Miles. Thanks for your love and support. It's what makes my life great. I love you. Thank you. Yo, Calgary! <laughs> okay. This is a special moment for Triumph. It's a culmination of an incredible journey. Rick and Gil, thanks, pals. Uh, we've had a lot of help along the way, though. Triumph would like to thank a lot of people here. First of all, the radio stations across Canada who played our records. City TV, Much Music, and John Martin, Denise Donlin, and John Roberts, thank you. The engineers and staff at Metalworks Studios who made our records come alive. The Triumph Road Crew Warriors, oh yeah, the best guys in the business. They made our concerts spectacular. Uh, the Triumph All-Star Team, I call them. Alex Andrinacki, Joe Owens, Gary Slate, Don Allen, Mike Primo, and Troy Blakely. I would like to give thanks to my family and friends for their support, my beautiful wife Rosie, my incredible son Matt, for their love and support. Finally. We would like to share this honor with our fans across Canada, around the world, and most importantly, here in the great city of Calgary tonight. Thank you. So much more to come, including performances from Headley, Julie Black, and Michael Bublé on the Juno Awards, only on CTV.